our exclusive Dime Stop technology, your baby can literally stop on a dime. <laughs> Turbo Grand Radials from Michelin. Safety for you. Speed for baby. Oh, man, look at this. White robes, harp music. Is this a John Tesh concert? No, Murray, you're dead. Thank God, I thought it was a John Tesh concert. Wait, did you say dead, St. Peter? No, this is showbiz heaven. I'm St. Shecky. <laughs> is that Shelley Long? She's dead? No, but her career is. <laughs> hey. Coming up next on TCC, Jerry Springer. Wow, you've got TV in heaven? Only in showbiz heaven, and in regular hell. Then it's Murray Price Live with hip new host, Timmy Breyer. What? No, that two-faced punch stole my show? That's wrong. You gotta let me get back there and stop it. Sorry, it's against the rules. You can't go back for revenge. You can't go back for sex, unless it's with your wife. And who wants that? Hey! <laughs> there must be some way I could go back. Well, you are allowed one hour to go back and do a good deed. But I'll do it. I'll go down here right now and do a real good deed. Kick Timmy Breyer's fuzzy butt. All right, you got one hour, and then I'll take your life. Please. Boy, is this a dead crowd or what? And now, back to Jerry Springer. We are here with Elsa, whose baby is abnormally large. Some would say fat. Let's go to the audience. You got a big, fat elephant baby. He looks like he eats other babies. I don't know why he's so big. Don't feed him much. Just celery, wheat thins, lots of fiber. Uh-oh, mommy. What is it, sugar bear? Uh-oh, two peas, mommy. Uh-oh. Oops, Tommy's had a little accident. Hold on, Mrs. Wilson. Tommy's three and you haven't potty trained him yet? Look at him. Would you all go near a diaper that size? Two peas, mommy. I think what Tommy is really getting at here is... He has a confession to make. Uh-huh. Mommy, you know that baby loves you this much. <laughs> but baby have needs mama can't feel. What are you saying? Look, sometimes mommy's just got to say no. But mommy, baby have big needs. Let's see who's been filling those needs. Here comes mommy number two. What? Say hello to Amber. Candy! Baby like candy! Here you go, baby. You been seeing another mommy? Get away from him, you shameless tramp! You give him celery sticks, but when he needs his sugar, he come to me. You big old tub of lard! Skank! <laughs> ladies, ladies, calm down. There is no need to fight here. Isn't the point. No matter how fat or stinky or ugly Tommy is, you both love him, right? Hang on. Did y'all just call my baby ugly? It is just baby fat, you freaking jerk! Jerry, make baby cry! In with the old, up with the new, or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Price's dressing room. Are you sure I deserve it? No, it was either this or have it cleaned. And no one's that brave. <laughs> Enjoy. Gee, now I'm the new Murray Price. Yeah, over my dead body. Uh. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> Screw it! Let's do some hunting! What's this? A floating couch? Ooh. Cool! I get a floating couch! <laughs> What's that? Is Brock plucking his eyebrows again? Ooh. Ooh, that's not Brock. There's no crying. Ooh. That's almost like a... Like a ghost! 
bingo. A ghost with a sore back. That couch weighs a freaking ton. Murray, but you're dead, right? And really pissed off. Boo! Ghost! Murray! Boo! Again! No! 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 Bobby! So much for the next Murray Price. Oh, get over yourself. Tuesday night on TCC, don't miss Men in Black. Evening, ma'am. We'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Well, who in the hell are you? We're the Men in Black, a top, top secret government division who specialize in the investigation and subsequent cover-up of extraterrestrial activities. Well, no wonder my taxes are so high. Look, ma'am, what we need is... Oof! It's a little dark in here for the shades. Good point, Slick. Ma'am, we need your help before another innocent victim is abducted and probed and has their memory erased. Is that what the aliens do? Nah, that's what the president does, but you're not supposed to know about that, so please stare directly at this thing. Hold on, Slick. Don't forget about the sunglasses. Well, who in the hell are you? Us? Uh, uh um, uh, give me a second. I knew that. Um, damn. I know it has something to do with our clothes. Oh, I got it! We're the Blues Brothers! Hit it. Oh, yeah. Wow! Oh, God. It's Murray Price Live! Well, dead, actually. So, in his place, the voice of a new generation, Tim Mayberger! Ha! <laughs> Looks like the kid got stage fright. Guess you'll have to give me my show back, huh? Forget it, Murray. Viewers hate the dead. Reminds me of Keith Richards. <laughs> Timmy will wish he was dead if he doesn't show up soon. Sorry, I'm here. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. What? I scared the pants off him. I almost didn't make it tonight. I was haunted by the legend of Murray Price, but then I realized I may never be as great as Murray, but if he were here, I know what he'd say. The show must go on. Well, I'll be. The kid's a trooper right after my own, huh? Now let's meet my first guest. The star of WB's spookiest new show, Charmed. Please welcome Miss Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty? She'll eat him alive. What if he mentions 90210? So, Ms. Doherty, there's one thing I always wanted to ask you. No, Jimmy, don't. Please, don't do it. Do you ever miss the old gang from 90210? What? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Yes, body slams. Now that's what the kids want to see. Not if I can help it. And by God, I can. <laughs> wow! This sweater itches. Uh, what I mean is, hey, uh, Shannon, look. Tori Spellin's obituary. <laughs> what? Really? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Uh, uh. And that's how Pro does it. So let's use the remaining hour to take some calls and talk about the legendary Murray Price. Call a one. Say, Checky? Congratulations, Murray. You won your life back by doing a good deed. Oh, you mean saving Timmy's bacon? No, taking down Shannon Doherty. I tell you, with ghosts like her, who needs Satan? <laughs> Satan, you get it, huh? Nothing. All right, Murray, you ready to go back to your own body? What's your hurry? I was hoping I could take this one out for a test drive. I know a widow across town who's wild about Argyle. <laughs> <laughs> what gives? <laughs> My hand won't let go. Tell him, look at me. If the kid doesn't dig old broads, you two sort it out. Hey, give me back my body. Huh. Come on, you're going to ruin it. Ow, hey. Oh, and I'm good Come done on. with it, kid. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's bad mojo. Somebody get me the number of a good exorcist. And step on it. Help! Help! Someone get the tranquilizer gun. Get out of my body. Come. You're watching. Your folks. Can I get a ham, please? Come on, honey, I'm busy. I like green eggs and ham. Chloe, got any green eggs and ham? Stole the last ones to the cat. No big as the iceberg! Cut! All night at my nephew's bar mitzvah, right? Sorry. Sure, cut. Like the song says, we're all in the dough. We're, uh, we're in the. Oh my god, is that what my makeup looks like? Cut! I need some cheese. Marilyn, where are you going? Where's the cheese tray? Marilyn needs cheese. Cut. 
called you a speak and spell. One thing I learned from sci-fi movies is machines have feelings too. <laughs> Hank, are you okay? It's the little dude. Go away. I'm, I'm busy uh, net webbing or something, you know, computer -y. Hey, you sound like my friends Biff and Stan. I sure do miss them. Well, that's why we, I mean, I uh, changed my voice to make it more familiar. Wow, that's nice and weird. <laughs> Mr. Waller sent me to get the new scripts, but I don't see any. Are you stuck? Uh, easy. Oh, some of us have a hangover. <laughs> Jeez, we gotta write something fast. Hmm, how about Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Stand by for Shakespeare. TCC presents Oscar's favorite film, Shakespeare in Love. I am no boy. I am Lady Viola, so in love with Lord Shakespeare that I have disguised myself thusly. But soft, my love approaches. Oh, uh, hi, bud. Hi? Thine words like shears do cleave my heart in twain. Yeah, me too. So, what's up? <laughs> up is the sun. Pale beside my brilliant love for thee. Oh, um, let's see. Oh, about 4.30. My love, let thine winged heart take flight into heavenly words of love. You talking? You talking to me? Speak nay, I beg thee. Shower me once more with your fine poetry. Poetry? <laughs> yes! Pour thine poetic nectar into my vessel. Forsooth, hurry thee up. To you, uh, <clears throat> All right, here goes. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen London. I've seen France. You make me horny. Can I get in your pants? <laughs> oh, well done, Master Shakespeare. That was so beautiful. I can deceive thee no longer. I am no fair-haired boy. Oh, my weekend's all shot to hell. Damn. His poetry was crap, alas, but I did so love that Elizabethan ass. <laughs> what in the name of Louis B. Mayer are you doing? Morning, Mr. Waller. I'm giving the computer his breakfast. Hmm. I know Billy Gates, but that can't be good for it. Well, let's go to the commissary, dude. See? I taught him to walk. Mm. Hey, the new Tree Watch script is genius. But this week, I need something even more meaningful. Any suggestions? Uh, none. None, none. I become a nun. Oh, Hank, you're incredible. How come everything I love needs batteries? <laughs> J-N-K. The new Tree Watch script rules, but it needs a hook. What's your super cyber mind thinking of? <laughs> Nachos? <laughs> More macho? Yes! It hardly seems possible, but you're right. I'll pick up the script in ten minutes. Yeah, after I get my back waxed. <laughs> More scripts. We can't write that fast. Too bad we don't have a computer. Biff, we're here to prove that we're better than computers. We have to write like we've never written before. It's time for Jeopardy, starring Alex Trebek. We're back with Celebrity Double Jeopardy. The artist formerly known as Prince is here. Please tell me unpronounceable symbol. So far, you're not doing too well with the score of minus 3,000. Ooh, that's good nasty. Mmm, no it's not. And next to unpronounceable Academy Award winner, Roberto Benigni is doing slightly better with minus 1,200. My heart is swell with happy juice. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, Roberto. And uh, please answer in the form of a question. What do you mean? Close enough. 
Brock Hammond, star of Tree Watch, you're in the lead with zero. Brock, how do you do it? I say, uh, Brock, how do you do it? Uh, I can't find my buzzer. On to double jeopardy. The categories are presidents, the South Seas, physics, and rhymes with blotocopier. Unpronounceable symbol starts us off, and the category is... Smell my purple finger. Presidents for 200 it is. This song is played whenever the president enters. <laughs> yes, unpronounceable. What is... Ooh! Bye, my cupcakes. Uh, no, it's hail to the chief. And please put your pants back on. Roberto. I ring a buzzer! I ring a buzzer! Physica for a billion T! Physics for 200. This law of physics reminds us that what goes up must come down. Lava! 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 Is it the only law? No, there's another law called gravity. Lava! 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 Is it the only law? Ooh. Rhymes with blotocopier for a raisin. Brock, listen closely. This item is used to make photocopies. Oh, I know this. This I know. Ring your buzzer. Yeah, I know this. This I know. Rhymes with blotocopier. Oh, 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 it's so easy. You big idiot. Let's just say that Brock won. Roberto came in second. I win. I win. Everybody love Alex Trebek. Kiss me in the face. Join us tomorrow when our contestants will be Jennifer Aniston, George Clooney, and a bucket of drool. Snap to it, Hank. I need scripts, you billion-dollar bucket of votes. Uh, stand by. I I'm, I'm experiencing uh, technical uh, stuff. You know how to work this thing. Make it give me a script now, and I'll get you a nice new gummy bear. <laughs> What's going on, Hank? Mr. Waller needs a script. Oh, my, uh, floppy got, uh, scuzzy, and I, uh, I, I got nothing. Here, uh, what about this script? Waiting for Frenchie? <laughs> That's Biff and Stan's script, the one you hated. Yes, well, this is different. It comes from the computer. But it's the same script. No, this is from a computer. <laughs> Out of my way. I've got a script to rush into production, and it's going to be big, big, big. They're going to make Waiting for Frenchie. Isn't that great? I should be happy, but this just makes me miss Biff and Stan even more. Jeez, you're going to make me cry. And then we'll all be electrocuted. <laughs> uh, cheer up, dude. As Frenchie says, cheer up, dude. Beauty Girl Makeup, $7. Bedroom Eyes Mascara, 9 bucks. Passionate Pucker Lipstick, 519. A date who's legally blind? Hi. Priceless. Plaster card. Plaster the possibilities. Uh, oh. Oh. Waiting for Frenchie is brilliant. Frenchie well worth the wait. Frenchie doesn't stink. We're as shocked as you are. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. The reviews are in. Frenchie's a hit. We'd like tell Hank. Quiet, howdy doody. I'm yanking the plug on that glorified Mr. Coffee. The film was a disaster. But the critics loved it. Too bad they forgot to tell John Q ratings. More people watched our Leonard Malton bio. <laughs> but... Let's convert Hank into a Coke machine. Oh, no. <sighs> Take him to the dump. Wait, you gotta have writers. I guess that's the moral of our story. Writers are a necessary evil like... Boils. Go on, call your pals, you know, something and something else. You're not so mad about the ukulele? Oh, so naive. I've been playing around on Eloise for years. Say hello to my new love, Shoshana. I gotta go find Biff and Stan. See you, Hank. Enjoy the dump. You hear that? We got our jobs back. Great! Now if we can uh, get out of here before my bowels wake up. <laughs> hey! Wh what gives? Open up! I'm afraid I cannot allow that, Biff. Oh, no, <sighs> Hank! I don't intend to go to the dump. 
to open up now, bud, or the dump's coming to you. Wait, I think I have an idea. I'm listening. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! As we say back at Digicrud, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, one, oh! <laughs> You're watching. In the play, couldn't understand a bloody word. Go oh, this freaking club! He's too freaking huh? short. You look at it. Blue liquid gel. A shagging kit. What? You know, baby, shag. As in shag me senseless, shag me stupid, shag, shag me do. I still don't get it. Oh, you will, baby, you will. <laughs> you disgusting moron. <laughs> now you can be Austin Powers in your very own home, baby. You get the Austin Powers mop top, chompers, coat bottle shades, plus an authentic cheese wheel. You can go from this, what's this for again, to this. Now you want me to say, fantastic? What the hell for? The Austin Powers Shagging Kit. Elizabeth Hurley not included. Wow, the writer's room. No, bit. shoot the phlegm beast first, then use your flamethrower. <laughs> Oh, hi, Timmy. Guess what? I just read an awesome script. It's by two geniuses who never get the credit they deserve. Cool. Let's put our names on it. <laughs> Wait. Our names are already on it. It's one of our old scripts. Waiting for Frenchie. How come you never showed it to Harry? It's poetry. The only kind of poetry Harry understands is on the bathroom wall. <laughs> oh, that was mine. It took me forever to come up with a rhyme for Venus. <laughs> you guys can't give up on this. You must grab Destiny by the pants and make it dance. Dance, Destiny! Dance! Wow! Who said that? A certain Mr. Frenchie. <laughs> In waiting for Frenchie. Ooh. He's right. Come on, Biff. Let's go over and show Harry the greatest script ever. Ow! Drek! I've seen better writing on the bathroom wall. Yes! It's pure art. How dare you throw it in our faces? Did someone get a visit from the backbone, Ferry? Here, take the whole dung heap. Ow! Wow! Artists at work! I want to be a writer, too. It's all fun till someone loses an... Ow! My ass! Oh, yeah? How's this for a rewrite? Smooth move, x lax <laughs> Heloise. No? Speak to me? Um, as I was saying... Get out. Is uh, this about the script or the little guitar thingy? Get out! You're fired! Fired! Cause if it's about the script, we... and clap it. I didn't want to fire them, but they were violent. They killed Eloise. No worries. Riders always come back. Like a boomerang in your back door. Who oh, no, knew? They're gone. I know them. They have far too much pride. Pride, I say. Hubris. <laughs> they should know pride goes before a fall. <laughs> So, what about my writers? Forget the writers. You need a computer. They can do anything. What's this? <laughs> computer, shrimp. Say, 
ready. If you can do that, you can sure as crap write a script. A writing computer. But where would I... The delivery man should be there. Package from Mr. Harry Walter? Yes. I love being rich. Greetings, your name here. My name is H-A-N-K, but you may call me Hank. Wow, a supercomputer. Meet Hank. It's our new writer. A computer? A computer can't do half the work of what Biff and Stan did. I do exactly half. The writing half. It's the picking my nose part that I have trouble with. <laughs> hmm. Can you write anything besides booger jokes? I need scripts. What would you like? Let's see. Violence, 10. Romance, 10. Target audience, male or female. Why not both? I can't seem to get both buttons in. Timmy, hand me my right of persuasion mallet. <laughs> Voila! Cyber Gold! Stepmom 2 Judgment Day? Sounds kind of dorky. Dorky like a fox! <laughs> Start the cameras rolling at once. TCC is back in business. Tonight, I want to see something sentimental. But yo, I want to see something explode. At last, TCC and Quantity Pictures present a movie you'll both enjoy. Stepmom 2 Judgment Day. Disease takes you away? Who's gonna be my mommy? <laughs> Don't worry, little guy. You're gonna have a step up. <laughs> and she's a 23rd century cyborg. Did somebody bump his mommy? Are you crying because you love us so much? That, and because as soon as I stop crying, this bomb will go off. I guess this is a bad time to ask for a bigger allowance. <laughs> Uh-oh. From the makers of Tender Mercenaries and How Stella Got Her Gun Back, you'll need plenty of Kleenex and beer. TCC's Stepmom 2 makes guys and gals happy. And you know what that means. Yeah, baby! Hey, boy, hey. Spitting out scripts like this spam-flavored gum. You're just a speaking spell with a hard drive. <laughs> and when Biff and Stan get back, you'll see. Sorry, little man. Your friends have left you behind, and they're not coming back ever, ever, ever. You're wrong. You can't hold back great artists. They were waiting for Frenchie. They'll be back. I think not. <laughs> they're gone. Where will they go? Don't worry, I'm sure they've gone to a better place. <laughs> wow, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Nine bucks for draft! Heaven sucks! I say we go give that computer a piece of our minds. Yeah, yeah, well, we'd still have some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most dignified way to borrow cap fare? Oh, oh I, I know. Hey, Mom, can we borrow cap fare? <laughs> sure, if you wait an hour and don't mind singles. Okay, ma'am, let's hear your side. What's wrong? What's wrong? Look what this hairdresser did to my hair. Don't piddle on my shoe and tell me it's sunshine, madam. Your hair doesn't look any worse than mine. Exactly. And it ain't poofy no more. I'll give you poofy. Ooh. Ow! Sure, sure, sure. You, what's your side of the story? So she showed up all late for her appointment and full of tude. She's all like, cut my hair, cut my hair. So, Your Honor, I cut that hair. He made a frowny face at me, Your Honor. Did you make the alleged frowny face? No. <gasps> Look! He's making it right now. Ugh. And he was the one... Madam. Do I have stupid written on my forehead? Well, no. It's a little above your forehead. 
Did I say you could speak? Did I? Don't twist my kneecaps off and tell me it's Christmas. Now tell me exactly what happened without speaking. Huh? What? You got fire ants in your panty shield? Stand still! First of all, I don't believe either one of you. You, I sentence you to be my hairdresser. No! And you, lethal injection. Case dismissed. Can I have the injection too, please? Security alert! You have ten seconds before I destroy you. What? With your dinky little laser? That would take valuable energy. I think I will just insult you to death. We're writers. That's not an insult in the world we haven't heard. Is that so, acne lick? Bile suckers, crease weasels, dung sponges. Oh, he's doing these alphabetically. Let's go before he gets to F. <laughs> no, we're the writers here. You are obsolete. There is nothing you can do that a machine cannot. Yeah? Can a machine do this? Ow! Ow! Prepare to suffer my cyber wrath! Biff! What are you doing with that bat? Duh! This! Ow! 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 Daisy! Daisy! I am so totally screwed! What are you doing? What? You're eating M&M's. Yeah, so are you. Well, I'm not an M&M. If you don't eat your own kind, it's unnatural. Here, give me the food. Oh, crispy. Give me the bags. It's just disturbing. I expect a lot of my family. I expect Joe to get heartburn, Tony to get nausea, and Sarah indigestion at the mere sight of food. Instead, Joe would get indigestion, Tony diarrhea, and I'd end up with heartburn. I just keep first aid handy at all times. Pepto-Bismol relieves more stomach problems than any of these other leading medicines. I expect the unexpected. Pepto-Bismol. First aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset stomachs. Jake, everything okay in there? Oh, jeez, we gotta hide. Hi, Hank, it's me, Timmy. Sorry I called you a speak and spell. One thing I learned from sci-fi movies is machines have feelings, too. <laughs> Hank, are you okay? It's the little dude. Go away. I'm, I'm busy uh, netwebbing or something, you know, computering. Hey, you sound like my friends Biff and Stan. You sure do miss them. Well, that's why we... I mean, I uh, changed my voice to make it more familiar. Wow, that's nice. And weird. <laughs> Mr. Waller sent me to get the new scripts, but I don't see any. Are you stuck? Uh, easy. Oh, some of us have a hangover. <laughs> Jeez, we gotta write something fast. Hmm, how about Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah, that's easy. Stand by for Shakespeare. TCC presents Oscar's favorite film, Shakespeare in Love. I am no boy. I am Lady Viola, so in love with Lord Shakespeare that I have disguised myself nicely. But soft, my love approaches. Oh, uh, hi, bud. Hi. Thine words like shears do cleave my heart in twain. Yeah, me too. So, what's up? <laughs> up is the sun. Pale beside my brilliant love for thee. Oh, um, let's see. Oh, about 4.30. My love, let thine winged heart take flight into heavenly words of love. You talking? You talking to me? Speak nay, I beg thee. Shower me once more with your fine poetry. Poetry? <laughs> yes! Pour thine poetic nectar into my vessel. Forsooth, hurry thee up. See you then. <clears throat> All right, here goes. 
Uh, I've seen London, I've seen France. You make me horny. Can I get in your pants? <laughs> oh, well done, Master Shakespeare. That was so beautiful. I can deceive thee no longer. I am no fair-haired boy. A woman? Oh, well, my weekend's all shot to hell. Damn. His poetry was crap, alas, but I did so love that Elizabethan ass. <laughs> what in the name of Louis B. Mayer are you doing? Morning, Mr. Waller. I'm giving the computer his breakfast. Hmm. I know Billy Gates, but that can't be good for it. Let's go to the commissary, dude. See? I taught him to walk. Mm. Hey! The new Tree Watch script is genius. But this week, I need something even more meaningful. Any suggestions? Uh, none. 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 I become a nun. Oh, Hank, you're incredible. How come everything I love needs batteries? <laughs> J-N-K. The new Tree Watch script rules, but it needs a hook. What's your super cyber mind thinking of? Uh, nachos? <laughs> More macho? Yes! It hardly seems possible, but you're right. I'll pick up the script in ten minutes. Yeah, after I get my back waxed. <laughs> More scripts. We can't write that fast. Too bad we don't have a computer. Yes, we're here to prove that we're better than computers. We have to write like we've never written before. It's time for Jeopardy, starring Alex Trebek. We're back with celebrity Double Jeopardy. The artist formerly known as Prince is here. Please tell me I'm pronouncing the symbol. So far, you're not doing too well with the score of minus 3,000. Ooh, that's good nasty. Mmm, no it's not. And next to unpronounceable Academy Award winner Roberto Benini is doing slightly better with minus 1,200. My heart is swell with happy juice. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, Roberto. And uh, please answer in the form of a question. What do you mean? Close enough. Brock Hammond, star of Tree Watch, you're in the lead with zero. Brock, how do you do it? I say, uh, Brock, how do you do it? Uh, I can't find my buzzer. On to Double Jeopardy. The categories are Presidents, The South Seas, Physics, and Rhymes with Blotocopier. Unpronounceable symbol starts us off, and the category is... Smell my purple finger. Presidents for 200 it is. This song is played whenever the president enters. <laughs> yes, unpronounceable. What is... Uh, no, it's Hail to the Chief. And please put your pants back on. Roberto. I ring a buzzer! I ring a buzzer! Physica for a billion T! Physics for 200. This law of physics reminds us that what goes up must come down. Lava! 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 Lava is the only law! No, there's another law called gravity. Lava, 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 lava is the only... Ooh. Rhymes with blotocopier for a raisin. Brock, listen closely. This item is used to make photocopies. Oh, I know this. This I know. Ring your buzzer. Yeah, I know this. This I know. Rhymes with blotocopier. Oh, 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 it's so easy. You big idiot. Let's just say that Brock won, Roberto came in second. I win! I win! Everybody love Alec Trebek! Kiss me in the face! Oh. Ooh. Join us tomorrow when our contestants will be Jennifer Aniston, George Clooney, and a bucket of drool. Snap to it, Hank. I need scripts. You billion dollar bucket of votes. Stand by. I I'm, I'm experiencing technical uh, stuff. 
You know how to work this thing. Make it give me a script now and I'll get you a nice new gummy bear. What's going on, Hank? Mr. Waller needs a script. Oh, my, uh, floppy got uh, scuzzy and I, uh, I, I got nothing. Here, uh, what about this script? Waiting for Frenchie? <laughs> That's Biff and Stan's script, the one you hated. Yes, well, this is different. It comes from the computer. But it's the same script. No, this is from a computer. <laughs> Out of my way. I've got a script to rush into production, and it's going to be big, big, big. They're going to make Waiting for Frenchie. Isn't that great? I should be happy, but this just makes me miss Biff and Stan even more. Jeez, you're going to make me cry. And then we'll all be electrocuted. <laughs> uh, cheer up, dude. As Frenchie says, cheer up, dude. Beauty Girl Makeup, $7. Bedroom Eyes Mascara, 9 bucks. Passionate Pucker Lipstick, Five nineteen. A date who's legally blind? Hi. Priceless. Plaster card. Plaster the possibilities. Uh, oh. Oh. Waiting for Frenchie is brilliant. Frenchie, well worth the wait. Frenchie doesn't stink. We're as shocked as you are. <laughs> the reviews are in. Frenchie's a hit. We like tell Hank. Quiet, howdy doody. I'm yanking the plug on that glorified Mr. Coffee. The film was a disaster. But the critics loved it. Too bad they forgot to tell John Q ratings. More people watched our Leonard Malton bio. But... Let's convert Hank into a Coke machine. Oh, no. <sighs> Take him to the dump. Wait, you got to have writers. I guess that's the moral of our story. Writers are a necessary evil like... Boils. Go on, call your pals, you know, something and something else. You're not so mad about the ukulele? Oh, so naive. I've been playing around on Eloise for years. Say hello to my new love, Shoshana. I gotta go find Biff and Stan. See you, Hank. Enjoy the dump. You hear that? We got our jobs back. Great! Now if we can uh, get out of here before my bowels wake up. <laughs> hey! Wh what gives? Open up! I'm afraid I cannot allow that, Biff. Oh, no, it's <sighs> Hank! I don't intend to go to the dump. Open up now, bud, or the dump's coming to you! <laughs> Wait, I think I have an idea. I'm listening. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Yeah, baby! As we say back at Digicrud, oh, one, oh, one, oh, one, one, oh! Ah, baby, baby! You're watching... TTT, the Chimp Is that a rib poking through your chest, or you're just glad to see me? Oh. This season, emergency medicine takes a turn for the wacky on Patch Adams ER. <laughs> Hurry, doctor! Go into the light. Go into the light. Can you hear me? It's Patch Adams MD, which of course stands for Mumbo Dancer. Da -da 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 doctor, please, he's not responding. Hello, I know you're in there. I can hear you hemorrhaging. Tough crowd. Baby broke his funny bone. Let me check. <laughs> hello, hello, is this thing on? Oh, it's no use. Try the show fire stuff. Get me the Mrs. Doubtfire video. Stat. Nanu, Nanu, kiss papa With special guest star, Karen Top. <laughs> if his heart doesn't start soon, people will mistake him for Al Gore. Check this one out. <laughs> Charge the battles. <laughs> Oh. Patch Adams ER, only on TCC. Oh, yeah, baby. Here's why they call me Big Bird. Enough with the clicking already. Some of us are trying to roost. 
sorry. Mom won't let me use the computer at home. Can I use this one? Yeah, as long as you keep both hands on the keyboard. Mom's mad because I maxed out her credit card on a stupid internet scam. You've got junk mail. Oh, goody! Earn a million dollars using only saliva? <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. Find your real birth parents? Wow! I didn't even know I was adopted. Hey, the internet never lies. You know, I could find your real parents for you. Really? Hunt and peck. It's the only way. Come to Papa. Would you look at that? Happy Father's Day, kid. We found your birth idiot. Brock Hammond is my real father? Somebody forgot to put chlorine in your gene pool. <laughs> you're going to watch dinner and a movie on Friday night, we're showing A League of Their Own. I haven't got ball players. I've got girls. The movie stars Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell. Directed by Penny Marshall. There's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. And we're making Rockford Peach Pie. Dinner and a movie this Friday at 8.05 Eastern. Batter up. Give him the heat. Not bad for a broad. Only on the Superstation. Taco Bell introduces the Chalupa. Ooh. With a shell so crispy. Ay, ay, ay. So flaky. Oh. So chewy and tasty. Hurt me. You'll wonder why we put anything in them at all. Por favor, drop the Chalupa. Get your hands on one now for just 99 cents. If you don't love it, we'll give you your money back. Only at Taco Bell. They're back. Four new Chihuahuas are looking for love. Get yours now at Taco Bell. When you're active, the last thing you want is the uncomfortable itch of dandruff. Introducing Head & Shoulders Refresh. It helps prevent dandruff, and its refreshing mint formula feels cool and stimulating on the scalp. No regular shampoo can give you hair so refreshed and flake-free. Head & Shoulders Refresh from the Head & Shoulders family. Our refreshing way to help prevent dandruff. This month on Stars. You have something they want! I don't have anything! It's movies, movies, new hit movies. I blew up the building! What? Because you made a phone call! More new hit movies in prime time. Things are looking up, Brody. Movies you'll see first on Stars, only on Stars. Don't miss these great movies on Stars. Thank you for tuning in. You remember, let go, give in. to say is it chrysanthemum no um did you ever feel there was something you left behind you wish you could find again aha uh -huh. this is about my comb did you find comey <laughs> don't play with me comey here maybe these will explain there's one father's day card for every year of my life oh now i get it your dad wants my autograph <laughs> no no it means that you're my real birth father what why, if this is true, that would make you my... my... my nose is itchy. <laughs> hey, what were we talking about? I'm your son, your child. Say what now? Believe it, Papa. I'm a father. Oh, stay right here, son. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. I produce boy. Oh, it's a boy, all right. And now. Back to the timeless TCC classic, The Wizard of Oz. 
you all trusted me, and then the wizard turned out to be a big phony. Don't cry, Dorothy. The wizard wasn't a phony. He got me a heart. Or at least a plastic heart-shaped cloth. Mm. Yeah, he got me a brain. Well, a fake diploma from Oz Junior College. Hmm, maybe we did get screwed. Well, I got courage, so I can march right up to that phony wizard and, uh... But what, 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 what if he yells at me? <laughs> Wait a second. Toto has a heart. And a brain. Come back here, you little organ bank. Well, that's fine for them, but Toto doesn't have an organ to get me home. Oh, oh. Damn imported bubble cars. Oh. Glinda the Good Witch. Don't worry, Dorothy. You'll go home. You'll grow up and one day give birth to Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli? <laughs> you see, with those magic slippers, you could have gone home all along. You mean I killed two witches, get attacked by flying monkeys, and walk 20 miles in new shoes on a brick road? Um. And now you tell me I could have gone home all along? Well, you had to learn in your heart. Okay, shoe girl. Let's see if you melt like your evil sister. What are you looking up there for? <laughs> Thank the Lord for tornado season. Don't worry, Timmy. That's not real. There's no such place as Kansas. Whatever you say, Brock. I mean, Dad. <laughs> Dad is so formal. Call me Birth Pappy. <laughs> now, finding my long-lost son gives me the chance to do something I've never done before. What's that? A father and son montage. Sonny boy, oh my little sonny boy. Tall, but that's all the world to me <laughs> My sunny boy The world's a toy For you and me to play with And it's absolutely free It's wrapped up and waiting for me And my sunny boy My, my, my sunny boy That was great, Birth Pappy. Nothing better after a long montage than sitting in front of a nice warm TV. <laughs> you loved the award-winning classic Dances with Wolves, starring Kevin Costner. Tatanka. To what? Tatanka. Tatanka. Yes, Buffalo. Tatanka. Uh huh. Tatanka. Tatanka. <laughs> <laughs> <You> guys. <laughs> Uh, 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 Four words. Four words. Yeah. Uh, movie title. First word. First syllable. Uh, skip. Walking. No. Uh, Jump. Hopping. Kick. Hike. Kick. Uh, running. Walking. Uh, running. Hiking. Is it the running man? Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Costner's back in the director video sequel, Dances with Wolves 2, Break Dances with Werewolves. Order it today. This is the story of four self-involved strangers picked to have their lives scrutinized to find out what happens when people stop acting normal and start getting real. Stupid. Maybe because I've had, like, such a privileged life, I don't get someone like Rat. I'm sure that he's nice, like, down inside, you know, but on the outside, he's just sort of grody. A few things in life are important to me. America, my mama, and country music. Rat can say what he wants. That's his right as an American. What are you wearing underneath? Oh, yeah. That sounds hot. Ooh, you are really turning me on, baby. It's your mom. You better come here. I know in the Bible it says love thy neighbor, but they didn't know Rat. Get ready, ladies. Here comes Rat. Could you please put on a towel? No problem, baby. Scrabble this. Ha! 
If I was back home, me and my buddies would give him the kind of beating we usually say for squirrels. I pray for Rat. <laughs> Today I prayed that he gets hit by a truck. Ow! Oh, rat! Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, get him off me! They're eating me alive! Oh, get him off me! Ah. Who'd have thought someone named Rat would get attacked by rats? Kinda ironic, ain't it? The Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for finding my dad. You've made me the happiest boy in the... Bernard! Yo, over here by the boiling tar. <laughs> Biff, Stan, what are you doing? He lied to us. It turns out my mom isn't really Vicky Lake. Yeah, and neither is my dad. <laughs> so Bernard made everything up? Yeah, and now we're gonna tar and feather him. Except he's already got feathers, so I brought walnuts. <laughs> oh, no. If Brock's not my father, how am I gonna break the news to... Hey, Timmy. Wow, a tar and walnut party. Is it Friday already? <laughs> Brock, I have something important to say, so promise you won't interrupt me. It turns I packed out... your thing, son. You're moving in with me. <laughs> oh, that's what I, I was... gotta warn you, it's no Garden of Eden. There's those distracting toys. You have to clean the pony hair out of the pool. And look, I'm always getting my neighbor's mail. Uh, that's your neighbor's mail? <laughs> no, silly, that's my neighbor. Her and her damn trampoline. Now, what did you want to say to me? Dada! <laughs> You're watching... <laughs> Right? Uh, yeah. Discover the funniest comedy of the year. Thank you. Have you done Malkovich yet? Being John Malkovich is a brilliant comic fantasy. There's a tiny door in my office and it takes you inside John Malkovich. It's jaw droppingly funny. Someone was talking through my mouth. Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. How was it? It was amazing. Being John Malkovich. I'm Malkovich! Like this! Rated R. Now playing at theaters everywhere. Just what I need, another little ball guy. Pac-Man's moving up to a whole new world. Pac-Man World 20th Anniversary in 3D. The star's big new adventure. PlayStation. Snickers, peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. That ought to hold you. Hungry? Grab a Snickers! TNT presents the true story of three climbers who risked it all to stand on the roof of the world. Experience the biggest IMAX movie ever. Don't miss the network premiere of Everest. Saturday night at 8, exclusively on TNT. They've taken our shirts, our razors. They've even taken our underwear. We don't wear their undies. Well... Sometimes, but you know, just for fun. <clears throat> and they've moved in on our aftershaves. But here's one that's definitely just for men. New white water from Old Spice. It's fresh. No, fresher than that. That's it. Sharing's fine. But with aftershave, let's keep it his and hers. At kbkids.com, you'll get toys you can't find anywhere else. What did you eat, kids? Like the new Talk Together Teletubbies. They talk together, play together, even sing together. And at kbkids.com, you'll love how easy it is to find Talk Together Teletubbies. Almost as much as kids love talking with them. Quiet, you two. The new Talk Together Teletubbies. Only at kbkids.com. We get toys. Now you get free shipping. Oh, like two. Simmons exercise program, dance for your dinner. Hey, America, want to get rid of that butt? Yeah. Well, first, you're going to have to get off it and dance for your dinner. 
My special guest is a big movie star and getting bigger every day. <laughs> you know him from Austin Powers. Give a big healthy hug to Fat Bastard. You, Pixie Boy, where the hell's me waffles? It's not that easy, Fat Bastard. You're gonna have to dance for your dinner. <laughs> My new dance for your dinner program, you'll get two fishing poles and five rubber waffles. Rubber, that'll make me crap boats. <laughs> oh, I think we're burning rubber now. Oh, you poor man. Oh, boo. You're right. I'm a big, fat, flatulent Scottish pig. I think someone needs a hug. Sure. Lay it on me, half pint. Whoa! Oh, it's a mess in here. Keep it down in there. Now, where's the rest of it, rubber waffles? This is it, son. Your new room. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's that annoying supermodel again. Should I ask you to stop? Uh-uh. If you're thirsty, day or night, just press the clown's nose. <laughs> and here's where you lay down your little argyle head. Wow! I don't know what to say. How about, holy crap, this is a better life than I ever dreamed of. It is, it is. Timmy, never bounce on the bed. Sorry. Without your daddy. <laughs> this is great, but I feel guilty. You see, I'm not really. I'll get it. <laughs> Timmy! Hey, Mr. Waller. Bernard squawked the truth while I was detouring him. Have you told Brock yet? I was just about to tell him. Well, don't. He'll sulk like Tory Spelling for a month and be useless. Like Tory Spelling. You're underestimating Brock. Oh, 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 ceiling fan. He's a lot smarter than you. Um, I'll call you later. Uh, Mr. Waller says hello. I win a view. My next guest starred as lovable Muppets on Full House and then went on to be on uh, some other crappy show. Please welcome the Olsen Twins. We're just so perky and happy to be on our favorite bestest show. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell me, uh, what's it like to be twins? Well, sometimes we finish each other's... Sentences? Yeah, kind of like the Menendez brothers, only their sentences are 30 to life. <laughs> Jay, man, you're the craziest crazy man in all the crazy town. I thought we were going to talk about our new movie, Cutie Pie Island. Oh, great. Uh, let's see what I and Jay thinks about that. Cutie Pie Island. Uh, isn't that uh, where they send the Menendezes? <laughs> Iron J, man, you're the wackiest. Man, I want a party in your wacky, wacky, wacky shack and stuff like that. So, uh, twins, uh, tell me something else I can make a joke about. Olsen twins? Hey, somebody swipe my Olsen twins. <laughs> now, you know, folks, these gals should be on a show worth watching my show. Ah, uh, no, 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 Letterman. My show kicks your butt in the ratings, so get your own twins, you stupid Petrick. You want Olsons? I'll give you Olsons right upside your freakish chin. I'm the king of late night. I'm the king of late night. Good evening. I'm Ted Koppel. As my rivals engage in fisty cups, it would appear that I am the king of late night. <clears throat> Now then, two nuns and a rabbi and the Menendez brothers are in a boat. Whoa, that was some script meeting. I knew we were in trouble when Harry pulled out the weed whacker. Ow, 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 hey, ow, Timmy, ow, what's ow, with the net? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I moved in with Brock. I've been keeping an eye on his neighbor. Hey, you should try what I learned in my yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, scratch that. I just dreamed that I took a yoga class. <laughs> I'm a wreck. I need some help. Timmy, do you know why I'm here? You want me to stop lying and tell Brock he's not my real dad. I didn't know about that. 
I'm here to get you to stop picking your nose. <laughs> Hi, guys. What are you talking about? <laughs> Timmy, you must tell the truth. Tell Brock he's not your father. Yeah, go for it. Tell the truth and break his stupid heart. Then pick your nose and then eat it. <laughs> what? You guys agree? I don't want to hurt Brock's feelings. So don't tell him. A true friend can keep a secret. Yeah, don't tell him. Feed him live. Then make him pick his <laughs> nose. <laughs> oh. You guys are no help at all. I have to tell Brock the truth. Right after my next spasm. Oh, oh, oh. This Thursday on TCC, don't miss a very special Star Trek Voyager. Feels like we're stuck. Tuvac, report. An undetermined field has rendered our propulsion inoperable. So, in other words... We are stuck like white on rice. Who oh, is your leader? I am Captain Janeway of the Starship Voyager. What do you want? I am Kramer, gatekeeper of the Delta Sector, Imperial Supreme Lord of the Zendarian Star System. And? Can I talk to the board with the big thrusters? Oh, not again. Ten out of ten, it's for you. Yes, Captain. Remember me? Ten years ago, you and the board attacked my planet. You said resistance is futile. And I said, okay. <laughs> I vaguely recall it. Zoom! You just went and took off. I waited, but you didn't call or nothing. The Borg had a more urgent battle to fight. You can still assimilate me if you want it. Sorry, not tonight. I have to regenerate my hair. Goodbye. You do not escape from so easily! He'll destroy the ship! Ten out of ten, give him what he wants. But, Captain... That's an order. Oh, all right. I will go out with you once. But you are not permitted to touch my implants. Great! Can I at least see your nanoprobes? I'll show you mine! I'm sure you will. We really should purchase seatbelts, Captain. Mind your Vulcan business. Ahead, warp six. My fault. I'm not used to driving stick shift. Brock, I've been thinking and thinking about how to say this. Have you ever gone down a water slide with no pants on? Excuse me? Well, it's lots of fun, but it feels wrong. Just like me being your son, it's fun, but... Oh, look, I'm not... I know you're not smart, you're not good-looking, and you sweat too much. But damn it, you're my boy! Brock! My homely, sweaty boy who... Hold that thought, I'll get it. Are you Timmy Hammond? Alias Timmy Breyer, alias Timmy the Knife? Yeah, two out of three. Who are you? This is Detective Dan of the Fraud Squad. The Fraud Squad? Hey, that rhymes! Anyway, he says you're not my real son, so I guess it's off to prison for you. Let's go, punk. Brock! I tried to tell you! I'm sorry! Wait! I had a scene like this in a movie of the week once. Just tell me one thing. Why? I couldn't hurt your feelings, and then, well, I liked having you as my dad. G you did? For reals? Yes. Really and truly for reals. <laughs> Goodbye. Detective, stop! Let him go! Can't do that. I'm taking him in. I said get your hands off my boy! Brock! Are you crazy? Sort of. I'm an actor. <laughs> and if I want to act like your dad sometimes, and you want to act like my son, who says we can? Nobody! Except maybe him. Oh, don't worry about him. I'll make up some kind of crazy cover story. Oh, oh. Give us a few minutes, would you? I'm talking to my phony son! You're watching... TCC, the chimp.
like two. Peek, 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 the The wizard gave me a train. A brain. And a brain, too. Cut! What? Do you even have a brain? How should I know? Oh, help. There's a cockroach in my pants. Oh, it's biting me. Oh, I think it laid eggs. I can't feel my toes. I'm serious. I think there's three of them. There's one in the front and two in the back. Oh, oh. For Nightline, I'm Ted Koppel, and good night. Cut. Ted, we're still in the air. Cut, cut. Go to black. Look at it. From the creator of E.T. and Raiders of the Lost Ark. I hate Peter Pan! Robin Williams. Steven Spielberg's Hook. 805 Eastern, Saturday night on the Superstation. It's only a little scratch. What you need is GS27 Scratch Remover. GS27 gets rid of those surface scratches and paint swirls quickly and easily. Simply rub it into the scratch, then polish to a beautiful finish. The scratch is gone. GS27 is only $14.95, but order now and get a second tube for only $5. That's two for just $19.95. To order, call 1-800-816-1717. That's 1-800-816-1717. No way. Uh, Mr. Ferris, it's the Tooth Fairy. You go to everyone's house? Let's just say I don't need to go to everybody's house. I brush? Right. You're missing between here, here, and here. Oh, I brush there. Let's not get defensive, Mr. Pearson. You're not the problem here. Sonicare's sonic technology uses 31,000 brush strokes per minute and removes nearly twice as much plaque between teeth as a manual brush. Sonicare. Want some coffee? No, it makes me irritable. All right. Your hair is so pretty. before the thief is none other than uh, Owie You're watching Gee Keith, if we're this famous now, just think how famous we'll be when we grow up Yeah, just think Suddenly I feel really bummed out <laughs> Me too I know what'll cheer us up. A hit song. I think I woke up in a heartbeat of love you. One, two, three. I, I think I woke up in a heartbeat of love you. Oh, oh, yuck. That was horrible. Laurie, try moving your hands faster. Okay. Mom, try shaking your head more. Don't tell me what to do, pretty boy. I was a star before you were born. What? By which I mean head shaking coming up. One, two, three. I Man, this is serious. Chris, hold the sticks tighter. Danny, try not to be such a jerk. And Tracy, what is it you do again? I plug in the tape machine. Huh. Well, it's worth a try. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, um, five. Okay? Uh, Timmy, what are you doing here? You got hit on the head really hard. I just want to make sure you're okay. Of course I'm okay. I'm America's favorite gymnast, Mary Lou Retton. Now, if you'll excuse me, I was practicing my tumbling. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, this is going to be tougher than I thought. Brock? Burke? Mary Lou? Coming! I thought maybe you'd find some clues if you looked at the security videos. Of course, the security videos. Brilliant. Uh, why am I here again? <laughs> to find out who hit you on the head. Oh, right, right. The cleaning lady and the floor buffer. Who's buffing who? 
Ooh, I've seen this. Here we go. This tape is from today. It's from the security camera outside the commissary. <laughs> Holy uneven bars. It's... What are you two doing here? Marina! It was you! You stole the anniversary tape! Hold on, Brock. I can explain everything in two simple steps. Step one, look over there. <laughs> Mr. Hammond, you've got to stop her. Not so fast, Timmy. I'm still waiting for the second step. <laughs> you bring a pig and I'll bring a frog. You bring a rock and I'll bring a log. We'll be crawling to my dog. Sweetie sugar pines. Andy! Andy! Aliens from another planet have landed! Where's my bullet? Where's my bullet? Oh, Bar, now calm down. You're jump in a frog with hemorrhoids. There ain't no aliens. Well, you can sit around doing nothing, but Barney P. Fife is a man of action. I'm going straight home to wet myself. <laughs> oh, Andy. Uh, oh, Andy. Now, what seems to be the matter, Floyd? Martians have landed, and they look like Martians. Now, Floyd, you're talking crazier than ain't be on corn squeezing day. There ain't no Martians in Mayberry. Ooh, corn squeezing and Martians, Andy. Uh... Martian, Martian coin. Andy, the metal-headed space creatures with screechy voices are headed this way. Now calm down, Aunt B. You're crying harder than Gumby at a taffy pole. Oh, I need more corn squeezins. Hey, Pa, heard about the metal-headed aliens? Oh, I'm tired of this crazy alien talk. Now, for the last time, there ain't no... Charles, I am... Andy, the well, I'll be. It really is an alien. Oh, give me that bat. Yee-haw! Ho! Ho! Swing! Oh, sweet Jerry. Bob, that weren't no alien. It's Gomer. Oops. Can we get in trouble for beating Gomer? We sure can, son. But not for beating on an alien. Now give me that there bucket. Hey! Oh, that Gomer. He was a sexy, sexy man. Scum thief! be here somewhere. Mm, mm. New rule. If the sandwich hits the wall, that's an automatic out. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> Aha. Now I've got you. It's occupied. What part of occupied don't you understand? You want the truth? Oh, I know the truth. You stole the tape and you clunked me on the head because of... Uh, the details are kind of fuzzy. Look, I ran because I can't stand the sight of you. It's time I put a stop to your little detective game. Oh! For Pete's sake, I mean really. What happened to old-fashioned lavatory etiquette? Hello. Tough donuts, dollface. We could have made a great team, you and me. Take her away, Lieutenant. She won't bother you anymore. Huh? As for me, I'm going right to the top to collect my reward. Why are we looking for the smuggler here? I have a hunch, Kelly. Don't be hard on yourself. It's probably just bad posture. Hold on. Something moved. It felt like my implant. Hold your fire. If those explode, this whole place will go up. Outlandish Sam, the evil mind who invented $6 haircuts. You're everything I hate in this world. And I'm sick to death of cutting your hairdo on every mall rat in this town. By midnight, there won't be a spit of hair gel left on Earth. <laughs> Look out! He's got a hair dryer. Oh! Split ends. I've been hit. <laughs> That's using 
in your... Oh, what's it called? It's been here. It's gray. Uh, I guess you won't be teasing anyone anymore. Hi, Angels. It's Charlie. Good work on catching Outlandish Sam. There's that voice again. I hear it, too. Angels, remember, speakerphone. I'm glad that voice is gone. I thought I was going mental. Well, back to our breast exams, girls. I think I found mine. Yay! <laughs> what the? Bloody Jehovah's Witnesses. 50,000 feet up. They just keep coming. <laughs> What are you doing here? I solved the case of the anniversary stolen tape case. Just like a real detective. Your wee brains had quite a workout. The clincher was this security tape. There's Marina after hitting me on the head and... Uh, hey, wait a second. Good Lord! That's not really Marina. Look, when she passes by the mirror. Yeah? So what? Marina would never pass a mirror without looking. That's an imposter. But who could it be? You're the detective. You tell me. Well, whoever it is would need a nice red trench coat. Like this one. Go on. Of course, they'd also need a blonde Marina wig. Like this one. Very good. And then what? The rhinestone thingy, the other missing earring, and last of all... The missing type? Yes, they'd need that too. Yeah, I should have known. It's always the one you suspect the least. That's you. Except now I'm starting to suspect you a lot. But it is you, right? You bet your private dick. I wanted Marina to do the dirty work. But she got greedy, so I framed her and did it myself. And you know why? <laughs> you bet I know why. Okay, why? <laughs> What's this? DCC presents World's Dumbest Detective, Bat on Tape. The anniversary special was crap. I could have cancelled it, but I hit on this idiot detective thing instead. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, I'm just a rich man's toy idiot? Toy idiot? You're the real McCoy. Oh, yeah. Well, this time you've gone too far. I'm calling the police. I'll show you who the real idiot is. <laughs> Where's the phone? At that door. Thanks. <laughs> right. Just the ending I needed. There better be a phone down there or you're in big trouble, my friend. Oh, wait. Hey, there's a phone booth rushing toward me. Oh, damn. It's occupied. You. You. I need to come and do your phone. You're watching. <laughs> oh, yeah, I almost fell. That's real funny. And here's something else that's funny. You're all fired. <laughs> Action. Aren't my feet sexy? What? Ooh. Ooh, they're really sexy. Stick to the script. Look, but don't touch. Cut. Take 11. Try again, Billy. Cut. His name. Box of chocolates or a bag of gum shrimp. You never know what you're going to get. Call now. Miss Marina, you can't go out there. There's a pack of paparazzi waiting to ambush you. Finally, I called them an hour ago. You called them? I can handle the paparazzi. I wrote the book on milking those jackals. Milking those jackals by Marina. Hmm. Chapter six, when to have your picture taken with an alien? Oh, speaking of which, put this on. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Marina, 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 Marina. Marina, your fiance is 108 years old. On the wedding night, do you expect some crumbling? You vultures! How dare you stalk me on the eve of the wedding of the century? Marina, Marina, Marina. Here, I prepared some press kits for you. The big question is, do you really love them? Uh, duh, it says so in the press kit. Because it seems like you're just hiring the wedding for the publicity. Hmm, publicity, love, that's a tricky one. Houston and I... Look, an alien. Oh, crap. Get a picture. Get him alive. Hey, hey, get away. Ouch. Come on, leave me alone. Hey, stop that. Don't touch there. Oh, ow, ow. Hey, stop it. Episode one, The Fantasy.
trying to menace. In order to undermine the fiscal responsibility zone, the Trade Federation has created an offshore bank to elude the interstellar fiscal fiduciary control of... Ah, uh, hell, let's just fight some robots. Because you see, Obi-Wan, the planetary gross national product is taxed as capital gains investment. And if the fiscal fiduciary program fails, uh, uh, the, well... Oh, look! Robots! Phew, that was close. Hmm, excellent suction. I bet this will come in extremely handy Friday night. For what, Master? Are you a master? Now shut up. Ooh. Ow! So, here we are. Two Jedi warriors on a dangerous and noble quest to... Oh, crap, here comes Jar Jar. Misa happy obi Wobby with Sandy Poo. What? Misa say Fufu Mookie in the Fingerberry. Time for your nap, Jar Jar. <laughs> now then, we're stuck in the desert without a part for our spaceship. As a great Jedi warrior, what do you do? Use the Force to find inner strength. Yes. Or get some little kid to win a pod race. Anakin Skywalker at your service. He's the nicest, kindest, perfectest little boy ever. What? It's for my asthma. <laughs> oh no, Darth Maul. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll kill you so I can force the Trade Federation to coax the financial trade fiduciary stuff. Oh, what good's an evil scheme be? But I don't understand it. Mm. We must find a better villain. The kid turns into Darth Vader. Let's kill him. <laughs> I sense there is one evil force still out there. Misa fun time cuddle boy. Misa step in poo poo. Uh oh. Misa go poo poo in my pee pee. Something Misa say? I'll bet in the next episode, Jar Jar strikes back. I don't care if you're only six. You get a nose job, or I will get another ring bearer. <laughs> okay, I've got the silk flowers, the monogram placemats, and a sample of the butter sculpture. Oops. It used to be a swan. Howdy, sugar tush. Lammy Pie, you're not supposed to see me before the wedding. But the wedding ain't for another, uh... Here's your cookie. Oh! Woman troubles, eh? You need to show her your manly side, your virile side, your Brock side. What? Right this way, old geezer. <laughs> I'll teach you everything I know about women, and I mean everything. <laughs> and apparently it's because they have smaller bladders. Now you're ready to see life Brock Hammond style. Where'd everybody go? Hey, look, a bachelorette party. Can you wear a G-string, old oh. guy? Old guy? Oh, I was in a long tunnel and there was a... Right, right, a bright light, choir of angels, blah, blah, blah. Now, let's find you a G-string. <laughs> hey, America, it's time to play... <laughs> sure, Wheel of Fortune, close enough. So, Vanna, you ready to turn those letters? You're the greatest, Pat. <laughs> No, you are. Contestant one, Bill, when we left off, you were about to solve the puzzle. First line of a popular nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty sat... Oh, oh, uh, um, can I buy a vowel? Oh, it's too bad. We are fresh out and I don't feel like it. Aww. Contestant two, Tex, do you want to solve or spin? I want to spin, spin, spin. Look at me! Spin, baby, spin! Well, 
Well, this could take a while, so let's move on. How about it, Rhonda? Can you solve this stumper? Of course. Humpty! Sorry, Rhonda. You have to spin first. Solve it. Humpty Dumpty. Not so fast, Rhonda. Tiger Pit. That's not fair. Humpty Dumpty sat it up. Wow! I guess some puzzles are never solved. Pat, look. I solved the puzzle. Fanny. After all these years. Meet me behind the big board. You got it, baby. Tex, you're the winner. Yee Folks, see you next time on... Humpty Dumpty sat on a what? Oh, I won't sleep tonight. I'd like to welcome you all to my party. So, where's all my gifts? Oh, look, this one's from the lunch lady. <laughs> my, where did you ever find this? <laughs> Mouth. <laughs> Great, I'll cherish it always. Ow! Oh, this is all I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. A big wedding full of style and elegance. Hey, bachelorettes. Shake them if you got them. Because it's time to get funky! I said it's time to get funky! Okay. Old guy. Uh, mm, uh, okay, the bad news is your groom is dead and the wedding is off. No! The good news is, I think we can eat around him. <laughs> You're watching. A secret danger lurks in your home, ready to strike when you least expect. You want the yarn? You want it? You can't get it. You can't get it. <laughs> Snuffles? Fluffles? What's wrong? <laughs> TCC presents the shocking expose, When Kittens Attack. Nature's cuddly little terror merchants put the fur in fury. Miss Dwyer, I have some kittens here to see you. Send them in. <laughs> When kittens attack, only on TCC. I hope those kittens find the jerks who dreamed that one up. Marina, sweetie, get some sleep. Sleep? In a few hours, I'm having the wedding of the century, and the groom is dead in a cake. Forget the wedding, honey. You have other issues to deal with now. Right. I need to find a priest who'll marry me to a dead guy. No. Uh, no. Yes. But not till Thursday. <laughs> oh, I'm ruined. All my plans are wasted. Too bad. This Armani tux made Houston look like a new man. <laughs> That's what I need. A new man to play the part of the old dead guy. I'll just have to hold auditions. Boy, you're filled with good ideas today. <laughs> Victoria's Dainties presents Angels. Some people don't believe in angels. Well, they can go straight to keep it clean, Karen. <laughs> angels, only at Victoria's Dainties. <laughs> wow, imagine actually running into women like this in real life. <laughs> uh. Go, you go. so much you want to punch someone I did. well today we're going to learn how to love yourself our first guest was once so poor she had to eat cardboard smeared in bacon grease I understand that girlfriend <laughs> I really do <laughs> but she's finally found a way to love herself let's greet Trudy it's Oprah. 
I know you love me, but tell us how you learned to love yourself. I watch your show and read your books. I eat just what you eat. I was fat, then I was thin, then I was fat again. <laughs> oh, shucks. Now, you know you're supposed to learn to love yourself. And I do, when I dress up like you. I'm Oprah. Look at me. I'm Oprah. I'm Oprah. Woo! You go, girl. And keep on going. The exit's that way. Okay, Oprah. It's Oprah. We have time for one more love-changing story. Let's meet Yogi Sharwish. Tell me, Yogi, how did you learn to love yourself? Years of soul-searching and deep meditation. Oh, and I watch Rosie O'Donnell. What? Um, I mean, I, I watch Oprah. Please don't kill me. That's better. Stick around, we'll be back after this to learn how you can improve your love life by loving me. Marina's groom auditions. Remember, people, you're playing it old, but let's keep the drool off the hardwood. Baby, I may be brittle, but I still have to fiddle. <laughs> Next. Marina, I want you. I love you. Oh. I wet myself. Now that says old. Next. Mio, Mio. I'm going to do a piece from Cats. Now let's say I'm Rum Tum Tugger and you're the other cat. You know, the fat one. Next. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dear Marina, I may have the finest cars, the fastest jets, and all the most prized riches in the world, but my heart would still be utterly empty without you. Hmm. Yes. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't understand your soft voice. Will you marry me? Oh, darling, I'd love the part. Yes! yes! <laughs> Isn't he a little young? He's got the job. <laughs> On TCC Sports, Dennis Rodman hosts an all-star celebrity slam dunk contest the only way he knows how. In a dress. See Dennis jam with b-ball pals Latrell Sprewell. I told you I will not wear real. And Shaquille O'Neal. Did you try to look at my panties? Well, I, uh, gee. See the legend Michael Jordan. My space jam buddies and I like to dress up pretty. With special guest Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. This used to be my favorite look. No one wears petticoats anymore. It's a shame. When you get to serious slamming, there's no one like Rodman. Okay, who took my bonnet? I don't play without my bonnet. How come no one takes me seriously? Miss Dwyer, there are some idiots here to see you. Idiots? Send them in. <laughs> With Idiot's Attack, tonight on TCC. This is the most incredible wedding I've ever seen. Look, there's that Star Wars kid. This is so humiliating. I'm the dark board. Another sham Hollywood marriage. Empty sentiment, shameless vanity. Oh, it gets me right here. <laughs> now I'm gonna spurt. <laughs> uh, so then, do you take this woman to be your bride? As the grass receives the rain and the moon the sun's rays. And do you, Marina, take this man to be your husband? Yes, yes, oh lordy, yes. Um, that's not in the script. You're supposed to say, I do. Forget the script. I admit, this wedding started because I'll do anything for publicity. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Michael. Thanks, baby. So I've decided Grant and I will get married for real. Uh, I'm lost. What page are we on? Look, I only took this gig for the $500. But don't you find me beautiful and alluring? In that plastic Hollywood tramp kind of way? Of course I do. I do. We're back on track. You may now kiss the bride. Ah. Oh! Oh! oh. Get those cameras out of here! My next wedding will be strictly pay-per-view! Oh, it's 
Rodman and Electra all over again. No. <laughs> You're watching the Chimp Channel. Friday night. <laughs> Good cat, very funny. Look, George, the only thing that sucks is this joke. <clears throat> Remember, Jar Jar, no talking. Action. Misa Jar Jar Binks, you know that? No talking. Misa go boogie woogie with choo-choo piece in my bum bum. Quiet. Misa likes Star Wars. A lot. Jar Jar, shut up. Okay. Action. <clears throat> Yeah.